Okay, we're going to do a bit of a cookers galore here. I'm just going to show you what I've got. I've accumulated over the years. Why pros and cons? I am not an expert. I don't tend to be, and I don't claim to be either. Sorry about the noise in the background. It's me keeping warm in the garage. That's my diesel heater on, set as low as possible. What we're going to do here is I'm going to start off with probably the wood burning ones, apart from an open fire which will be your most basic camping fire all the way up to the expensive ones and pros and cons on them if i get it right if i get it wrong i do apologize this is only my experience with these cookers okay this has not been paid for by anybody this is just me having a bit of fun on a cold day all right let's get started okie doke this is one of my very first wood burning stoves stick stove whatever you want to call it it puts it in this the pan because it fits beautifully inside here. Okay, that's all. Uh, yeah. What is it? GSI. It is MSR. Sorry, sorry. Uh, GSI MSR Siegel. I think it's a 775 or 725 litre. Just to show you what I use. Okay. So with this, very simply, this is all about cookers, by the way, folks. So I'm sorry, but it is all about cookers. Right, let's get this one out. My very first stick stove. I'm not going to rush, so just take the time, enjoy it. If you enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up and a like. The subscribe button is over that side, down there. If you click that, and then the notification bell as well, you get notified of all the upcoming videos. Thanks very much on that one. Right, so with this one, this comes off the top. You swap positions. You put that into that. This is your lid. You put that in. You fill it full of sticks. These are your pot holders. I've had this probably a good 10 years now and love it. It's a gasifying stove. When it gets hot, the gasifiers, and you'll see them start coming out of here. And it's very good, very unique bit of kit. And one of my very first ones. And it cost me a pretty penny when it first came out. That's my first stove that I ever bought for camping. Okay, we'll put him to one side. The next one we got, this is from Bushcraft Essentials. You probably all recognize these. This is the Bushbox XL, not titanium, quite heavy. Weighs just over a pound, I think. So I'll put that in. These are unique as when they came out. They're very expensive, still expensive now. He's got stuck for some reason. Hold on one second. Bear with me. Okay, just got stuck for a second. So great stoves uh, pros and cons I'll tell you in a second so it's self itself what is it unfolds into this position okay ash box at the bottom drawback that's the problem which is fine because it's great fun for camping and whatnot same with the gasifying stove um, messy but yeah they work a treat and they're very like if you're in a confined space and you can't have open fires, these are what you want, okay? Easy to fold back up again. You can either tip it upside down, like so, and then the base should just fall out, like this. Push the two sides in, and away you go. You've got grills to go on top, and you've got tivets, divots, tivets, whatever you want to call them, for pot stands and stuff like that, and they just all fit in the case. Um, you can get these anyway now, I think there's a lot of people selling them, so I got this one from Germany, uh, from actual Bushcraft Essentials themselves. Okay, so those two aside, that's, apart from open fires and whatnot, that's your basic sort of start. Now, whether it starts off with these cookers from what I think is the best, it's got nothing to do with it, it's just what I've accumulated and all the way up to expensive. Okay, next, uh, well you'll all recognise this one. Everybody recognises this Trangia type one. Different type of holder. I mean, it's not a Trangia, it's actually a paraffin cooker, paraffin stove. Trangia is the actual hold unit. I don't know whether I'm right on that, I don't know, someone will correct me, but it doesn't matter. So these legs, I got this from eBay. They lock into place as you just bend them, pull them out. And same with this one. Oh, come on, there we go. And then that locks in, makes it really stable. Then, of course, pot on top. Very good. Great bit of fun. These are ideal. They use these in um, at school for, um, what do they call that now? I can't remember what it's called. DV. So, take the lid off. 
Pop a little paraffin in. Let's have a go at this, shall we, while we're here. Oh, I did have that in my focus. Sorry, folks. Focus, folks. Anyway. So, a little bit of fuel. Got these little containers off Amazon. These are really handy. Okay, and I did bring a lighter. The only trouble is you've got to make sure that you can see they're lit. That's the only problem. I don't know if you can see that. No, nope, that isn't lit yet. This is the only snag. Can you see that now? Let me zoom you in. Where are we going? There we go. And in a while, you'll see the flame start going up through the sides. Let's hold until we get that. Okay, so why that one's flaming up? We've got another one here, which was off eBay, which is a bit slightly bigger one, holds more fuel. Exactly the same principle. Push the legs down. Like so. Lid off. This is slightly, slightly different. You can't see that burning yet. We'll go zoom into that in a second. So let's put a bit of fuel in that one. Okay, same principle, light it. Okay, let them get hot and we'll come back in a sec.
Okay, no self-igniting on these, just... Extremely powerful. Simmers as well beautifully, absolutely excellent for boiling water. For cooking, hmm, different matter because if you look at the bottom of that can, a little bit of char there, directional flame on this seems to hit the pan. And I'll show you that in a minute. I'll drop down, you can have a look. It's so intense that the heat is mainly in the center of the pan. Okay, so all just this part here. And the trouble is then it burns the food and I've had quite a few we did a we did one with on the uh, hillside and uh, It burnt the stew quite badly <laughs> Still tasted all right mind you because we were starving and freezing, but yeah, we found that the um, This is excellent for boiling water soups and stuff like that. You know if you've got water and you put soup in the water um, Or boiling water for soup should I say? Um, fantastic, but apart from that it does heat very quickly but it burns food Flame is just sort of directional. I was just saying that. See if I can show you that. Do you see what I mean? It doesn't seem to spread the flame much. Flame is directional. It does be around the pan, but the heat is so intense in the centre of the pan. So, yeah, I'm not going to go half on about it. It is a bit of a bit tiny. Ideal for camping. Certainly, uh, if you're like on a, even a push bike or anything, or just walking, great little bit of kit. Um, you can buy different bottles for these. Uh, burning anything. Um, you can use them with these, but you have to get an adapter. Okay, I will show you that in the next. In the next, uh, which one we're using next? I'll show you in a second. Okay, okay. Next. This is how I store my stuff. So we have two cookers in here, and some wine straight to go camping. We have. Can't with it. I think one was from Amazon, pretty sure, and the other one I'm not too sure. But we'll have a look at both, okay? So, this one is a great bit of kit. Uh, I'll show you that. These legs pop out like so, and they lock into not, but they don't actually lock. I suppose they do, yeah, they do. Look, okay, very stable. I quite like the idea this is, I don't know why that's moving like that, should it do? I wouldn't have thought so. Anyway, we'll have a look into that one. Self-igniter. I didn't know that moved that, I'm a little bit concerned about that. That means it's coming undone, so... Hmm. Okay, so, the thing is with this, it looks like... I've just done that now. If you hold the head here, if it's coming loose at the bottom, you don't want this to come loose because you would have a flame out then, since that comes undone. So if you hold the head, you can tighten this back up again, tighten the body back to the head. Anyway, so this has a self-igniter. See that? Yeah. So we'll give that a go. This goes with the big bottle, but bear with me, bear with me. Okay, you can also buy separately, or some come with it, some come with it. I know on Fire Maple, on their website, they do these. And um, they can only go one way round, so you can see the little nubble sitting there. That pushes in there, and then you turn it, that locks it into place, and then this canister becomes a screw-on canister. As in... Okay, so dual-purpose adapter. I think they're brilliant. That came with this cooker, I believe, but we'll have a look at that in a second. Let's pop that to one side. Let's get this one off, see if it's not it's cool enough now. Like I said, it self seals. Put him to one side. Let's get him on. There we go. Okay, now this will handle big pots, big, big, big pots. As you can see, it's got quite a good stance on it. The legs are good. Um, 
pros and cons. It's not that bulky, not too bad. You have to have a container with it, some sort of fuel. You could have this one, which is smaller. So the choice is yours. Same with this one. We'll have a look at this one in a second. Um, let's fire this one up. Self igniter on that. Hope it doesn't burn me because it was loose. So there we go. And good flame on it. There is a difference between. See, if you look at the flame again, it's coming directly up. Good simmer. I think this one here is slightly different. It's got more of a. If if you look at the heads on these, the actual burn heads. If they're wider and, 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 and sort of more diameter to them, it heats the pot up better all round. This is more central again, you see. But it does work well, it does work exceptionally. I've used this one, we use it for camp at the moment, it's great fun. Uh, runs extremely hot, like I said, they're versatile, they're quite compact, they're simmable. I'm kind of fun. Let's try the other one up, so I'm going to have a look at that. Okay, just comes with the bag. Oh, it's the Fire Maple one. I forgot about that one. This is by Fire Maple. No, I've got nothing to do with them. They just, um, well, this one, yeah, they sent me this as a free gift. Just so I, if I review it. Ah, I remember this one now, yes. You can see I've got quite a few cookers. All right, so, like again, good stance on the legs. They pop out. There's a protective heat shield on the tube itself. Um, I think I don't know what it's like for. Let's have a look. Let's see what it says. No self igniter, which is fine. Right, let's fire this one up. Okay, this is one right. Okay, so like I said about the head being quite wide, and the flame could disperse better over the cooker. So, right, so there's no ignition on this one. Let's just fire it up. There we go. It's still quite a tall flame, but the base is wider, so... See for simmering. Oh yeah. Let's see me into that one, shall we? Let's see how low we can get this. Yes, you probably think I'm, I do quite like this cooker. There we go, almost eight, but still just simmering. So yeah, I mean, this is a cracky bit of tin. It's tiny, it's small, it's compact. Still again, versatile with both. If you can use the adapter, I'm sorry. Let me back out. Yeah, to use with it, this adapter as well. Fire Maple, do sell them on the site. This is not a plug for Fire Maple. It's just showing you that, yeah, I did. They got, they sent me this one. I also bought the, their kettle, which I think is amazing. Um, yeah. So I don't know what I'm going to do with all these cookies, to be honest with you. Right, should we carry on? So let's put this one out. So another cracking one. Uh, do we need that anymore? I don't think we do. Okay, another maple, uh, another maple, fire maple product. This is the fast boil. Um, I've used this, this is absolutely a cracking bit of kit, locks into position, pros and cons, quite bulky, but if you're just doing camp cooking, or not camp cooking, um, if you just want this as your main cooking pot, stew, soups, everything you want, then this is the unit for you, if this is, this is what you want, and you've got room in your backpack for it, or car camping, van camping, whatever you want to do. So, pop the lid off. Out comes the burn unit, same principle. It'll only take the screw in one, this will. It's also self-igniting. I managed to pack this quite well and also fitted in it a small gas cylinder. Okay, and with the fire maple one comes a pot stand. 
this is this is this is a, a, a game changer. This one, okay. For the simple reason, I'll show you that in a second. So you probably know how they all work. Let's just put it together. So let's get the cap off of that. Actually, I won't use that one. I'll use the big one because it's already out, and we'll use that. Two seconds. With the small one, it's not so high, so it's a little bit more stable, lower to the ground, but does it matter? That's entirely up to you. So, I can't put things, I've got no water, I'm not gonna put this on the pot, but you can see the idea is that it's thinned and it burns very, very quickly. I've got another video if you wanna check that out. Um, if I can, I'll leave a description down below on that video. So this now is a game changer, because now this you can handle with any size pot you want. Okay, and I've got the self igniter. Let's just find out where that is now. Here we go. So let's fire him up. Now, this is quite a steep flame. I'm going to show you before. The simple reason is because the fire maker is directed at the bottom of the base through the pins to keep the water up exceptionally high. But you can still get one if you want to lower the fan. It does still get one. Alright? It's a little bit better. Alright? We're going to put a quick pattern. We are now. And, yes, it's considered. To me, I don't know why, but I just like the fact that you can simmer. I mean, you know, if you want to do a stew or something, it's going to take an hour or so, you need to simmer. Right, right, then. Well, you put these pots now, they're going to get extremely hot. All right, so that's the uh, fire maple. Uh, love it. Oh, this is in my van at the moment. This stays in there permanently. Okay, so let's pop that out. Right, that's all to one side, and now we're going to get a couple of the big boys out. Okay, next... This is the Coleman's 533 multi fuel. So this is unleaded, and I use I use uh, Coleman's fuel with this actually. Okay, I've had this for quite a few years now. They're very expensive at the moment. Very expensive. My lad borrowed it the other day to go fishing, so I think it's pre-primed. So we'll just see if she fires up, shall we? So yeah, this is the Coleman's 533. Uh, pros and cons: bulky. I find it difficult to simmer sometimes. It will simmer, but I usually have to turn it off back on again. There is a video I've done recently on this, if you want to check that out. If I can, I'll put that in the description down below. Um, let's fire it up and see what happens. It should be still enough fuel and... There we go. It gets a little bit flamey until she gets worked up. That might need a bit of... Might need a bit of... Yeah, let me see how it gets it. He said he'd break through his bacon. He said he cooked his bacon no, no, in no time. There we go. So you can prime it while it's live. If someone wants to correct me, please do. I don't mind. The chamber, this piece going over the top, as you can see, the bar is um, like a heat exchanger sort of thing. It's um, about, it, from solid fuel, it turns into evaporated fuel, hence the gas. There's quite a few pumps, push it in, lock it into position, there's your, there's, there's your primer there, lock it in, and there we go, like I said, you know, it's bulky, but it's great, uh, I will really not sell it, I'll get rid of it, ever. Can you bent that? No, anyway, the priming, I'm uh, not priming, simmering, it tends to go out. I don't know why. Then put it back on again. And then you can get it to simmer. So you sort of have to turn it off and back on again to get it to simmer properly. But it's okay, that's fine, I can leave it. Oh, I see it's gone out now. Try again. So full power. It'll probably need a service actually. I don't know where the service kit is for these, if you can still get them. Anyway, so this is the Coleman's unleaded 533, but I'm using Coleman's fuel in it. So this is uh, great for cooking outside. It's quite convenient with that little camping thing, but it is quite bulky. 
see, that is quite bulky. Right, two more left. Hope I'm not boring you. Okay, I've cleared the work surface a bit, so here we go now for the last two. This, these are MSRs, and we've got, I've got the boxes somewhere with them as well. The ones, I think one's the Dragonfly, the and the other one's the XG. I'll find out exactly what they make, so give me a second. You know what, let's unpack them first, okay? So, just twist these legs coming out sideways. These are the beasts, these are the beasts. Very expensive as well. But these are also all year round, winter, summer, you name it. Um, on this one, I have got a dampener because uh, this is like a jet going off. I will show you that, we'll do a demonstration on it as well. So please, if you've watched the video so far all the way through, thank you very much indeed. And these are the worst, these, these, not worst, these are the best two that you'll be waiting for, okay? Hopefully they haven't used them for a while, so hopefully they'll work. Um, I can't think what the name of my, I'm not going to say it because I got into trouble last time because it was the wrong person I said that manufactured these. So if you recognize the paw print and whatnot, fantastic job. Right, so that's the first one we're going to get out. Um, they're quite bulky, are they? Not like the, the Coleman's quite bulky, so, but you do need separate fuel bottles for them. Each one takes a different fuel bottle, not the same. I thought it'd be the same, but it's not. Okay, so let's have a look at this one. This is the Dragonfly, I believe. And you'll say, well, why don't you know? Because I don't use them that often. You know, I've got a full time job as well, so, you know. Here we go. They both come with their own tool kits as well. This one is spring loaded, so quite a bulky bit of kit. Um, it's got the simmer. This one doesn't really have a simmer. That's the problem. Um, someone did say you can use, uh, you can get, or you can simmer it by from the bottle, but I think, okay, it's quite tricky to do, but anyway. Um, let me get the boxes and we'll show you. I know this is definitely the Dragonfly. We'll get them kitted up. I'll just show you the bottles as well. So, if you look at the end of the nozzles, one is slightly bigger than the other, okay? So, there's two types of bottles. We've got this one, which is the small one, and that's for the GX. I'll tell you exactly what it is. Okay, that fits that one, but it will not fit this one. Absolutely not. A doty different size altogether. Okay, so now I don't know if you can get the same size bottle because I have to use this, which is massive. So you imagine the comparison. Okay, but I have got the spare top. Let me hear that. I bought spare tops of these, so they should be the bottle should be interchangeable. So you should be able to use one on the other. So yeah, I mean yeah, yeah of course you see. What am I asking? Yeah, um, you should just if you want to use that. But I use the big bottle for I don't know which one it is now. Yeah, for the big one here, but. Because this is for a, more of a long haul for you know for a few days. Uh, I've also got the the Primus bottle for carrying Coleman's fuel. I use Coleman's fuel on these as well. This is full, so I'll put a little bit in each and we'll give them a test. All right, get back to you in a sec. Okay, let's start off with the uh, the XGKEX. Okay. I had to save up for this, believe it or not. I've had this quite a few years. I would say at least 10, 12 years. And when I first sort of got into like a bit of camping, bushcraft and whatnot, I wanted this so bad, I had to save pocket money. I'm not joking. It was just like odd jobs I did on the side and whatnot to save some money up to get this to buy it. Because this at the time, I think was about £135. I don't know what they're retailing at at the moment. Um, it's a cracking bit of kit. Uh, I could go through all the details, but you'll just want to see it working. And there we go, there's all your things. like It comes with, you can tell the box is actually discolored, so I've had it quite a while, and it's not been in the sun, it's just been in the garage. Um, yeah, let's get it fired up and stop gabbing on about it, and then you can see it working itself, all right? So let me just set it all up. Um, I'll put a bit of fuel in the bottle first, you don't really see me doing that. The only thing is this fuel that with these cookers it is the fuel is very volatile, very very um, combustible. Okay, or what they call that Oct octane or whatever. Very combustible fuel. It's almost like it's like petrol. I think it's a little bit more. It takes a bit more octane than fuel. 
Right, so then, now this is the other tricky bit, because I haven't done it for a while. This has to lock around this part here. So let me have a look how this is going to go, so bear with me. Uh, I'm not too sure now, bear with me, so I think it's that way round. And then you push it in like so. That's it, that locks into position, and then you pull the lever across, and that locks it. So this is then ready for action, so then we prime it. I think this is about 12 to 15 pumps. Let me just let me zoom out here. Let me just come back a bit so you can get the whole picture. Let me fall it off. Okay. And the idea is now what you do is you prime it. So once you've done that, you have to prime it so a little bit of fuel goes in the base of the cylinder here. Then you need to ignite it. And then you turn it off. So just put a bit of fuel, you'll see the fuel come out in a second, we should zoom you in. Oh, sorry, you fell off. Right, let's see if I can get you zoomed into this. There we go, there's your fuel coming through now. And then, light it. Now I've turned it off on the bottle. And now you have to wait for the chamber. Like I said, the, the uh, this evaporated chamber to get hot. And then once that gets hot, you'll start. It'll start. Pff, 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 pff. You'll see. You'll see. You think I'm a bit weird, don't you? So these are quite a, a volatile cooker. Once it's going, this is a fantastic bit of kit. Right, I'm not going to stop with the video or anything, just let it keep going and put a few more primes in and we should be ready to go in a minute. You can hear it, this is the gas building up. Okay, and let's have a bit of ignition here, see what happens. I'm going to take it back a bit because it's hot. Right. And once the whole block gets going, you'll see what happens. This, this, this quiet thing on top, I'm not going to say by whom, gets hotter and then the flames will start to decrease and become more. Um, what, what's the word? Oh, I can't remember what the word is now. More symmetrical is a big word. That will become more symmetrical. Yeah. You see it's quite pulled up now. A few flare ups, it's fine. But this thing will not go out. This is your winter storm, hurricane, whatever. As you can see, 
These are a bit spooky, these cookers, I must admit. We'll, we'll try the um, dragonfly in a minute. You can tell me your opinion. Okay, so drawback, it takes a while to, to die down. Uh, extremely hot. Uh, for some people, it'd be a little bit scary. Um, I've got to admit, that is about a powerful bit of kit. Uh, we'll fire the dragonfly now. You give me your opinion and tell me what you think in a sec. Let that cool down. Okay, well, that's cooling down. This is now the dragonfly. This is more simmable. We'll have a go at this one's light. So, tell me what you think. I think I bought this one. Yeah, I did buy it after that one because I needed the simmer. I know I keep on about it, but I do. All right, so let's get this one fired up. Okay, same principle. Line him up so you want to let's have a look at this. We need that to go around the back. Uh, like so. Uh, push him on. And click. Okay. So we need a few primes, everything's off, make sure it's off, prime the bottle. And exactly the same principle again. Just get in there like that. Okay, you need to prime the, the base. So if you want to zoom in on that one again. You have to undo the bottle valve first and then you have to prime it using your little one here. And you want a little bit. Turn it off and light it. See how volatile this fuel is, it is extremely, extremely um, inflammable. All right, let that go for a little bit until it warms up. There is another chamber inside that you can't see at the moment, but yeah. This is on a this is on a pivot as well because this when it all falls away. Let that get warm. And then we'll fire it up. See that kicking in a minute. There is a like a cloth underneath which fills up with fuel and then that keeps it ignited and now we've got flame, you see what I mean? We have to be so careful with these. You wouldn't want this in a tent. So the pros and cons, this is why I don't sort of use them that often. Outside, if you're cooking, snowing or whatever, fantastic. I've already got the minimum amount of fuel in the uh, bottle. There we go. And that's the dragonfly. Nice bit of kit. It looks like a dragonfly, that's where they've named it the dragonfly. Scary as the um, X2 pile, and also a little bit more vertical as the guys are similar.
Performance 533, that's a crappy bit of kit. So is the XG K. Give it a thumbs up. Um, if you just forward it, that's fine. Um, take care. Uh, if you need anything else or you want individual ones, do another one on it or a review or a calling or a cooking on one, please leave a comment down below. That would be great. And uh, I will do it. Alright, take care. Thanks very much for watching if you did. And we'll have you definitely in the next video.